They're sold as the safer alternative to smoking, but Australian researchers have uncovered what's really in e-cigarettes. Tracy Vo tells us more than half of the liquids tested contain nasty chemicals, including ingredients for pesticides and disinfectants. They're colourful and flavoured, but what's in them is poisonous. These are the liquids vapours are breathing in, thinking they're a safer alternative to cigarettes. All of the liquids had at least one, and usually, in most cases, many of the harmful chemicals. West Australian researchers tested 65 e-liquids, the most comprehensive study of e-cigarettes in the country so far. As their popularity grows and a younger generation starts to take up the dangerous trend. You can pretty much include any ingredients. There's no quality control. Some of the so-called nicotine-free e-cigarettes were found to have contained the addictive drug. Half had a chemical that's normally used in pesticides and disinfectants. And most were found to have had the banned substance benzaldehyde, the flavour enhancer, which can irritate the lungs and compromise immunity. The study, backed by Andrew Forrest Mindaroo Foundation, researchers are hoping to uncover more. We obviously need to know what the use of these things is going to do to people's lungs long term because no one's really been using them for more than a few years. WA, South Australia and Queensland are the only states with laws banning the retail sale of vapes and at the start of this month new rules came into play. Those wanting nicotine juice need a prescription from their doctor but there's still no stopping online sales and no regulations on how they're marketed. We now have to really, I think, align across the Commonwealth and the states to close all of the loopholes as quickly as we can because a whole other generation of young Australians are potentially getting addicted. Tracy Vo, Nine News.